as a brand of burgers and they were essentially home delivery and takeaway and uh, a lot of people love their burgers and wanted to know if there's a place where they can actually sit down and enjoy their burgers so hence Keisha and Caleb uh, they requested me if I could help them out decorate a place and uh, the budget wasn't too high nor was the time so we decided to do something different while they wanted just a cafe I thought it'd be nice to mix art with food since even food is very artistic and uh, I have I'm from an art background and I know enough and more friends who are extremely artistic and usually don't have a place to display their art. So I thought if we could mix art and food and have an art cafe, it works well for everyone. We wanted to use a lot of recycled stuff and reuse stuff which worked well because it fit within the budget as well as it's quirky, different and it takes a lot of creativity to make something that's old look nice and useful so we used uh, we walked down the streets went to different markets tried to source what kind of stuff we use brainstorm so I had friends like Anise and Dipali together and we brainstorm a lot and then we figured uh, we're gonna use tires but the tires are gonna be stools we're gonna use trunks but the trunks are gonna be tables uh, we're going to use pebbles to be paperweights, we're going to use mango boxes to be little bookshelves. So basically, products that you see in everyday life, but they're going to be used differently with a twist. And so we use muesli bottles, we made lampshades out of them. And yeah, and you need to come to the cafe to look at it all. Uh, but also another thought was, I didn't want it to be just like an art gallery where people you usually have to be quiet, talk in whispers, and look at a painting from a distance. So it needed to be very involved, interactive, where one could be one with the painting, one with the painter, and the artist needs to extend their art, ideally, across different facets of the cafe. I thought that was something which would be different, which probably hasn't been done before. So people do have art in cafes, but to have art which flows into different parts of the cafe, something that was that had d isn't being done that often. So the first artist was close friend Dipali and we requested her to paint our trunks and she also painted the river pebbles and uh, so yeah, so it was different, it's fun. So when you enter the cafe at any point, a 360 degree degree review and you're going to see some part of Dipali's art somewhere whether it's on the on the walls or across the cafe furniture and that's something that I would like for every artist to have if they do display their stuff here. Earlier I used to work as a commercial artist and then uh, I decided I got tired of working on computers alone and I decided to go back to the basics. I'm like, I need to do handwork and I need to do... So I started with uh, drawing lines on paper, started doodling, started uh, uh, trying to get deeper into my subconscious rather than the conscious mind. Like how as trained commercial artists, we're always taught to work to a, towards a brief, towards a concept. So I just wanted to break away from all of that. So I started doodling and then from doodling, 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 this is where I've reached today. So it's like, a, you can say a journey of say five to seven years. Uh, started displaying since the last five years and uh, I've started experimenting now, not just with uh, pen and ink, but also with enamels. Um, so what you see over here is a process of five years. So as an inspiration point, I would say nature. Now when you talk about nature, it's not just about plants and trees and animals, it's about basic human nature also. So most of my work uh, is a lot of mixture of what a human nature is and its counterpart as to what a animal nature would be or the counterpart in nature nature would be like. So you can say the inspiration comes from life itself. So 
maka pav happened uh, because of my friend gauri so one of her friends was opening up the cafe and uh, she had this idea of doing an art cafe theme and since i was the closest to her she checked with me if i would be ready to do it and then she was uh, we were throwing back ideas as to how we can go about doing it and i said yes i have some stuff ready and we can try it out and then she got me thinking more and then she gave me ideas and then she gave me uh, things to work on like uh, she had this old trunks at home and she said i want you to paint on these and i was like okay wow i mean that's a great idea why not i mean you usually see paper and uh, canvas but this was something different so i said yeah why not so that's what i tried out then she had, she came up with the ideas of the river pebbles so that was another super experience to do it like i myself enjoyed working on different mediums which are not the usual mediums of art thoroughly enjoyed it the the mugs also right yeah so um, the mugs are for selling i mean whoever that I, i would want my art to be in every home so there's not everybody who can afford the art but yes i want my friends to pick up my stuff so then for that purpose i have created limited edition uh, mugs so whoever comes to the cafe if they can't afford the work art but if they love my work then there is an option where they can pick up the mugs and take a part of me to their home and i would enjoy it if they look at the mug and they remember me Thank you.